Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Shagnik Datta, I'm a third professional MBBS student at Bardwan Medical College and Hospital, West Bengal. In this video, we'll be talking about another subject of second year of MBBS, that is pathology. Pathology turns out to be the most important subject out of the three subjects, that is patho pharma and micro of your second year of MBBS. It is not only important for your second year of MBBS but also very important for your third and final year of MBBS because pathology forms the basis and the crux of all the clinical subjects be it in your third year of MBBS like ENT and Opta or your final year of MBBS be it medicine, surgery, gynae, pediatrics and anything else. So without much ado let us get into the video. In In this video, we will be dealing with the subject of pathology in three different sections. In section 1, we will be talking about the different resources that we should use for the subject of pathology, be it the books, the notes and the video lectures. Secondly, we will be talking about how you should actually approach clinically the subject of pathology in your second year of MBBS. And thirdly and lastly, we will be talking about how should you approach towards the subject of pathology in terms of its questions. The, what are the questions that are asked in this subject of pathology and how should you approach them. So starting with the very first section that is the resources for pathology. Now if we just need to talk about what are the books that you should use for your pathology subject then it should be solely the book of Robbins and Cotran. The pathologic basis of disease it comes in two volumes the international edition or the South Asia edition and this should be the go-to book for every other medical student for pathology. Other than that, there is another book of pathology called as the book by Dr. Harsh Mohan, the textbook of pathology. It is also very good a book, but you should always refer to Robbins for preparation of pathology. Now, let me just divide these two books into two sections. Firstly, let me talk about something about the book of Robbins. Robbins is the gold standard book for pathology. You should refer to it. Now, why I actually say that you should refer to this book because all the questions that are being asked, be it in your university exams or any competitive exams, the tables, the diagrams, the informations that are being asked in these examinations are directly taken from the book of Robbins. So Robbins should always be your go-to book for the subject of pathology. Once you read pathology from Robbins line by line, just like you read your biology from the textbook of NCRT, this becomes a very piece of cake the entire subject of pathology now talking about the book of harsh mohan how is it different from robbins and why do i actually choose robbins superior to harsh mohan harsh mohan is a go to book for every day harsh mohan should be the best book if you just want to pass the examinations, your university examinations, then Harsh Mohan would do the job. But if you really want to get into the basics of the subject of pathology, Robbins shall be the go-to book for you. Because as I stated, Robbins is the book preferred by the examiners. Robbins has got so many accurate informations based on different kinds of research papers nationally as well as internationally that this book becomes the best book for pathology. You should use Robbins for your preparation of pathology. Now, if you really feel that you do not like the subject of pathology, then you can go for Harsh Mohan because it is an easier book. But trust me, Robbins is not difficult. The language that is being usually used in any other gold standard book is not the case for Robbins because the language is very lucid and vivid in the textbook of Robbins. So you can definitely use the textbook of Robbins. I've been very repetitive about the textbook of Robbins, but you should actually refer to this book for your preparation of pathology. Now, talking about another very important and sought after information that is the video lectures and notes 
what are the video lectures and notes that you should refer to in your second year of MBBS for pathology. Now, I personally feel that if you read Robbins line by line and you make your own notes from this textbook of Robbins, then you should not need any other notes or video lectures to be referred to. But if you still want a video lecture to refer to a note that you can read from then I personally used the notes and the video lectures of Dr. Sparsh Gupta sir. Apart from Dr. Sparsh Gupta the video lectures of Dr. Preeti Sharma and Dr. Ranjit Hayar are also no doubt very good. But why I actually used Dr. Sparsh Gupta sir's notes is because his notes was in parallel with the textbook of Robbins. Every information that you should need from Robbins was being tabulated, was being shortlisted, was being written in a well pointwise bullet and numbering format in the notes of Dr. Sparsh Gupta sir. Now there is one disadvantage which I have actually got from Dr. Sparsh Gupta sir's lectures and also from Dr. Ranjit sir's lectures is because they are too fast with the subject. In that case you can refer to Dr. Preeti Sharma's lectures as well. But I personally prefer Dr. Sparsh Gupta sir's lectures because of his notes. The way the notes were in parallel with the textbook of Robbins really helped me a lot in my revision using that notes. But as I just said, if you can make your own notes from Robbins, marking the important points and the important pictures, then you should never need anything else other than your own handwritten notes. Now let us come to the second section of this video that is how should you approach this subject clinically in your second year of MBBS. Now let me be very clear. If you really want to clinically relate any subject whatsoever it might be, be it micro, patho, pharma or any other clinical or non-clinical subject, the best thing to do is to visit your hospitals, visit your wards. I've previously made a video that how should you actually attend your clinical postings in second year of MBBS and I'll just put the link in the i button as well as in the description box you can just go and watch that video as well. For pathology, that would be very beneficial. Now, as I just said, in second year of MBBS, we are posted in different wards for different subjects like the gynae, surgery, medicine, pediatrics and many more. Now, how should you actually correlate it with pathology? In second year of MBBS, no one would actually ask you to know one would expect you to know the basics of medicine in terms of medicine but people would actually expect you to learn and understand it in the form of pathology now how should you approach it for example you go to the medicine ward and you see a case of liver cirrhosis once you see the patient of liver cirrhosis its inspection its uh, auscultations and the different clinical methods to examine the patient once you come back to your home, read the characteristics of liver cirrhosis, the pathologic basis of liver cirrhosis from the textbook of Robbins. In that case, you get hold of the textbook of Robbins as well as you get hold of the clinical scenario of liver cirrhosis and that is what I did in my second year and that helped a lot. Let me give you another example. For example, you go to the ward of surgery and you see a patient of gastric obstruction. You get to see the normal clinical examinations from the point of view of surgery. But once you come back home, read the different kinds of gastric tumors and their associated markers from the textbook of pathology. The, that is the textbook of Robbins. And in that way, you again get hold of both the things in, from the aspect of surgery and the aspect of pathology. And at this point, I really want to clarify one more thing. If you are yet not very much fascinated to read the subject of pathology from Robbins, do one thing at least. Read the tables and the diagrams from the textbook of pathology and their related informations, one or two lines, what are written beside and above the diagrams. Because as I just said, 
it is the textbook of robins which are being referred to for making questions even in your university exams as well as the competitive exams so with this we come to section 3 of this video where we need to talk about how should you approach towards the questions for this particular subject of pathology now talking about pathology it is a direct subject that is you are asked direct questions about the different kinds of microscopic and macroscopic signs and symptoms you are asked about different tumor markers you are maybe asked about different genes and their mutations which might cause different kinds of diseases you are asked about different signs and symptoms of particular clinical cases now for that mcqs shall be the best way to practice questions because mcqs are based on pinpoint options which help you to become very specific about different clinical cases so if you practice more and more objective type of questions that is mcqs it becomes very easy for you to remember these informations overall so i would recommend you to actually practice more and more mcqs rather than solving subjective questions solve the subjective questions for your university exams just before the university exams but before that whole of the year please practice more and more mcqs so that you get hold of much more informations for the subject of pathology because there's no doubt that the subject of pathology is a little volatile so you should always practice more and more questions revise the subject more and more so that you can remember most of the informations so with that we come to an end of this video if you like the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel and share this video with whomever might find it helpful as well meet you in the next one Thank you.